So guys, I would have never put you two together. You guys are like the unlikely duo I never knew we needed. <laughs> um, Billy, did you have some preconceived ideas of how it might be working with Tiffany? And did that change once you guys actually got to know each other? Um, when we met, I just knew it was going to be great. Um, you know, of course, there's a, you find out so much about, about each other as you go. And, but the, the, the willingness and the openness right from our first meeting uh, about the movie when, when Tiffany basically said, stop talking, I'm doing this. And then, and then getting on, but then, you know, it's getting on the set and working together is different. And, and because of her schedule, we didn't have a lot of time to, to really rehearse before we started, you know, shooting. Um, but we just fell into each other. Um, and it just was very real and relatable and and on, and honest and and I loved her her work ethic is is so strong and and you know we we didn't have a lot of time to to do a, a long script and so there's no time for anything but good work and that's what we did every day and it was uh, it was thrilling to to work with her and the rest of this great cast in in a in this movie. You can definitely feel the chemistry and how comfortable you guys were with each other. So I, I love it. Um, but Tiffany, after Billy stuck a needle in your butt, I love that scene. Uh, <laughs> it had me wondering, is there a certain scene you had to film during this movie or any that you thought to yourself, like, did I really just do that? Singing in the meatpacking district. <laughs> I'm like, did I really just <laughs> sing out here for the audience? Yeah, <laughs> that was that was to me surreal because it was just I never thought I would do anything like that. It you was. Know, I mean, I, I know it's possible, but just like to be doing it. <laughs> well, listen. At this point, I feel like there's nothing you can't do. I love that. I thought you were really good as a singer performer as well. You seem like a natural. So I was actually wondering, like, could Broadway be next for you? Ah, oh, yes, definitely, darling, definitely. <laughs> I can't wait to appear there and it's really surprise all the people on a nightly basis. <laughs> I, I see it. I really, really do. Um, okay. And Billy, so Charlie is losing his memory due to dementia, but what has remained the same is his love for comedy. And so at this time in your career where you have done so much, has your love for acting remained the same or has it come in waves? Oh, it's even, it's even more so now. It's, it's more so because, you know, on, the older you get, the more you have to work with, the more you have to draw on, the more muscle you have, and the more thrilling it is to, to you know, uh, seize parts and just sort of let it go and be relaxed with it, you know, and um, that's that's the great feeling at, at, at this point in, in uh, this new century that I'm in, <laughs> mine. This new decade, I mean, this new decade. Um, it's almost a century. Uh, it is is to uh, keep keep getting better, and keep understanding yourself, and keep using yourself in different ways. And uh, that's been um, that's been a great great lesson, really. And the last movie I did before this, called Standing Up, Falling Down, I'm playing a, an alcoholic, cold popping uh, doctor, and and who had a lot of pain inside and that was that was something I relished doing so the the you know the more that that comes my way the the more eager I am to keep growing is there a role that you haven't done that you would love to play a superhero or something just out of the box that's a superhero that's who I should be yeah I should be a superhero a 70 year old Jewish superhero that, <laughs> that should be me yeah that, that, that would be fun <laughs> yeah, it would be fun. Um, and just my last question for both you guys. Um, so Charlie, Billy's character, gets really annoyed by one of his colleagues' inflections. So I just want to know, what are your pet peeves, both of you? Hmm. I don't, you know, just, just, uh, I just think that, you know, just trying to, What's the right word? You know, pet things that, you know. You know what ticks me off, you know what gives me the ooh, is when somebody's talking to me, but the whole time they're talking, they're like, yeah. So, and then what else? Mm. <laughs> yeah. 
That's about I'm what listening. I I'm listening. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me really mad. That I agree. Or if they're just listening or listening just to respond, like they don't really want to hear what you're saying. They just want to say what they have to say. That one bothers me too. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm sorry. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> you got me for a second. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, this is all my time. It was so nice speaking with both of you. Thank the you, Pat. You had me actually crying, but happy tears. So I can't wait for everyone to see it. Thank, Thank you. you.